Hi guys. Welcome to my library. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. This is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. We are getting our patio conversion done this week, and I am so excited. Ah! All right, I feel like if you watch my vlog, you've heard me talk about library, library, library for quite a while now because it's been just that long in the running. So let's do a quick background. I'll show you guys the before, and then the during, and then the after. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to decorate it in this video but i'm just too excited i have to let you guys in on the details so let's do a quick backstory okay so for those that aren't aware me and my husband bought the house that we're currently in in may of 2022 after we found out we were expecting our um first child we loved the house that we were in but it wasn't it didn't have enough space that we were looking for so we moved into this house um while this house had probably 90 percent of the stuff that we wanted there were still some things we were looking to have um one of those was the patio that's off of our master i loved it when i first saw the house i was like i love it we have a patio area in our older house i was like this is great for me to go out and be able to relax or read or if i want to have a different place to be able to work i would love to go out there fast forward we move into the house and even though it's screened in i don't know where the holes are but th there's some kind of like holes or something in the screens because bugs were constantly getting into the space and it would be very uncomfortable and very frightening for me to be out there reading and then before i know it there's a bee sharing the same patio space as me so it didn't get as much love as i wanted to when we first bought the house all right so fast forward to this year i say hey i asked what i said hey i'm thinking about getting the patio fully enclosed that way we can actually be able to use it we also wanted to get our deck painted and restained so like it's the perfect time for us to do just a couple of home improvements around the house so called a couple of people and i will say get some quotes so we called a couple of people ended up going with um the company that we with now only because he just seemed like he was so knowledgeable one he came out he took measurements he listened to what i was looking for i showed him pinch Pinterest inspiration he took measurements and then when he had a quote instead of just sending the quote through the email which a couple of people did he came back out to show me the quote break down the details of the quote give me an idea of how it's going to run um, how long the project would last it just seemed a lot more knowledgeable than the other people that we had come in to give us quotes um, so we ended up going with this person um, or this company. Now, the one thing, and this is why I've been saying like library, library, library for the last two months is because the windows, which you guys will see after, um, had to be custom and it takes six to eight weeks for the windows to come in. <sighs> so as much as I didn't want to wait, I was like, you know what? I'd rather wait and have what I want than get it now and just have just a bunch of glass because I wanted to still be able to open the windows and get in a fall breeze. I didn't want it to be completely glass, which is what they would have been able to give me if I didn't want to wait. But if I waited, I this is where I am. So I just got the call today. The windows are finally in, the flooring is in, the heating system is in, and they're going to start on Thursday. So I'm gonna give you guys the before. Um, he did say it'll take about, or starting on Thursday, he said Thursday, Friday, and maybe it'll run into Monday. So, so I'm going to give you guys the before and kind of show you guys the vision. And then I'm going to check back in with you guys on Thursday when they actually get here to get started. Ah! All right. So guys, this is the door. So master bed, I have a window on my side. This is the door over, over here. So if you come out here. Once again, this is the before. This is what it looks like. Like I said, it's so spacious. Um, it's really nice. So I would, you know, sit over there with my little, you know, books or whatever and just relax. And then we even had this double, like this two seater that we had in our previous house with um, that right here. Kind of like I want to come out here. Most of the time me and William will sometimes come out here and just like chit chat or talk or it's just a nice conversational. But you see, you see these three things? That's bug spray. Bug spray, wasp spray, whatever. Because even though this is screened in, I don't know where they're coming. And even, where can I show? 
right here, a bee has decided to make a, a home. And you know how when you have, what do you call it? Some type of bee, bumblebee or whatever, all that is like leftover wood from them trying to make a home in here. So while I love this area and I'll give you guys the dimensions because he gave them to us before. What is that? Is that a bug? That's a bug. See what I'm saying? I'm now nervous and I'm like, can he get in here somewhere? I know he can. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I'm excited to get this completely, completely transformed. So what they're gonna do is they're only keeping that, like the, the support beam, so of that one, this one in the middle, and then this one, but then all this other stuff down here, all that's gonna go. Get rid of all this other wood all this other wood over here and the bottom all of the bottom down here is going to be glass and then that's going to be glass that's going to be glass over here that's going to be glass over here they're going to create a um, window unit in here so when it gets um, cold or warm I can cut the air or the heat on and then this space right here let me try to back up a little bit all this space over here will just be windows and then there are windows that I can like crank out to let in a little bit of sun and then um, I did get a different fan so they are going to replace the fan because I, I don't know why there's a brown fan out here and all the other fixtures are black so we're going to get a, a black fan and then we are getting um, like this is just like straight wood but we're getting some kind of flooring a PV I can't remember the name of the flooring anyway so all this is gonna go I don't plan on bringing any of this back in here with me that's gonna go on the deck I don't know where this is going but I have a vibe I'm excited I think you guys can clearly tell how how excited I am for this project <sighs> it makes me happy so I guess I'm gonna put you guys down and I'll pick you guys back up he said they're gonna get here Thursday between 8 to 9 30 um, I'll check in with you guys on Thursday I'm trying to think what I am going to do um, and this is what I kind of do whenever we have like home projects around the house is I'll go to Publix and I'll order the like the subway like the little mini subs I think he said there'll be three guys here so I'll probably order like a 12 pack and so I'll get that with a variety pack of chips and then I'll get a variety pack of the like a variety of the Gatorade and then we'll have it in a cooler with ice and it'll just be out there for them they're probably going to bring their lunch anyway but it's just something for them to be able to snack on thank you guys please do a good job maybe you can do it a little extra job since I've fed you or whatever but we like to do that whenever we have people in and around the house especially if they're going to be here all day like I know you're probably going to bring a lunch, but in case you need a little something extra to snack on, here's here's a here's a sandwich and some chips. So I need to plan to do that before Thursday. All right, so guys, it is Thursday. The guys have actually been here and they just went to go get um, uh, some stuff from Lowe's. I told you guys I was going to order. Um, so I'm just saying if Williams on the way back, I said I was going to order like Publix and like snacks and stuff. Well, Publix had a 24 hour notice. I knew that. I don't know why I didn't think about it, but Jersey Mike's lets you order the same day. So I just ordered the guys boxes. And so William just went out and um, he's on his way back. So the guys, um, he said, hey, we're going to run to Lowe's and we're going to run and get lunch. I was like, oh, well, I actually have lunch coming for you guys. So you can just, you know, eat here. He's like, oh, you didn't have to do that. I was like, yeah, but I wanted to. Sorry. One of my pictures are, I'm so sidetracked. And he's like, oh, thank you. Well, we're going to run to Lowe's and come back. So let me show you. They've demolished everything. Like he said that they're going to demolish everything today and then put up framing, like the windows. And then the electrical stuff is going to come tomorrow. So let me show you. And I'm not going to step all the way out because it's completely gone. Like the framing, it's completely empty. <sighs> It's happening, it's happening. Um, All right, so William just brought them in. These are the lunches. So I just got the box lunch. I just got like the house sandwich um, with classic chips and then a chocolate chip cookie. And I got them the regular size. And then I know I asked for Gatorade, but they brought Pepsi, which is fine. There's technically three of them here, but I went ahead and got a fourth one just in case um they want an extra so okay so um day one update they ran into a little snafu wait a second uh 
I have to talk to you two for just one second. So give me a second and then we'll put your show back on. So day one update, apparently they ran into a little snafu. So in the um, library, you know, I told you they were gonna put in like a little wall unit. Well, once they started to frame the windows, apparently there wasn't that much clearance. So they're having to go with having a portable unit on the floor and then having a shaft. Um, and that was the pro the project manager that called me to tell me that, hey, this is what um, happened. Um, they could order a different unit and then require another two windows that they'd have to order. And I was like, as long as I have ventilation, I don't really care. So, I mean, I'll show it to you, but it's nothing than what they left it with. No, I think they did some of the framing. Anyway, so let's go, I would say let's go see it. But Alexander's here. So maybe I'll wait till daddy gets home because there's still no, like there's nothing preventing me from falling two stories over. Uh, but they did do the framing for the windows. So he said tomorrow they'll go ahead and do all the framing for the windows and they'll start and do maybe the subflooring. He says he thinks that if they get here early enough, they'll be able to do everything and they'll just have to come back next week for like a couple hours to fully install the ventilation. Um, so... I was worried they were like, the windows don't fit. I was like, I don't want to have to wait another eight weeks. But this is just a minor AC issue. Okay, he's eating. So let's take a quick look. Like I said, not much has changed other than they did the framing. So you can see the wood framing. So as he was saying, over here is where they were going to put the um, air conditioning unit because the plug is right here. So what he was saying is that once they frame in the window, there's not going to be enough clearance right there to put it. So they're just going to put a portable one and they're going to put a um, plug right here. So they're going to do an electrician to do a plug right here. And then they're just going to put a portable one here in the corner. And he says it's great because you can take it in and out and then they'll just have a shaft that way it blows out. So like I said, they did the framing. So all of this, this will be window i meant not window glass down here and then this will be window so exciting all right so guys friday update so because they had a little debacle with the air conditioning unit they're probably he said they'll finish up on monday so this is what it looks like so windows are completely in so like I said, they have to fill that in. The, he said what they'll probably do is they'll probably do like some kind of trim work. So they'll do trim work and siding on, on this side and then on the outside. Anyway, they're gonna do siding and then insulation and then siding. So all of that will be covered up right there. There's also a little hole over there. And then over here is where my little unit, wall unit is gonna go. Um, so they're going to put it in a vent down here and he says it will kind of look like a dryer vent. Um, and so yeah, put that there, but then it'll have like an eight foot span so you can move it over here or leave it over here. And then they're going to like patch all that with like siding and stuff. But, and then of course they have to do the floors. He said more than likely they should be done on Monday, but they might have to work into Tuesday, which I hope, I mean, I guess I hope not. I am leaving for Vegas on Tuesday. So maybe when the time I come back, it'll be done. But anyway, this is what we are looking like so far. All right, guys, excuse the look, but they are officially done. Well, it's like they are officially done with their part. Y'all not see this light? I think like this is where I hope to have like my sit down videos. This is the plan. I tried to do this earlier this year and with just everything with, um, wish I could cut that fan off. With everything with just like this, the um, traffic, it just made it very hard. Um, so. I'm, I'm, I'm literally wait. doing it's been 30 minutes since they left. I'm literally doing an update. They need to see an update before I start painting. Speaking of where you got all these questions about this room, I figured you not the, the chairs are not going back in. What chairs? No. I'm gonna put them around the front. Okay. 
anyway so they are officially done with their part as you guys can see when i um showed it to him so they are the painting still has to be done so there is painting that has to happen in here and then there's painting that has to happen outside because i want immediate gratification like i already have a very very large ikea purchase sitting my dog is staring at me like who are you talking to anyway so yeah so i have a very large ikea purchase i just got here um so because they have to do the inside and the outside you know my sister if you don't know my sister does like accent walls anyway she's a whiz i have um reached out to her now you don't want to act right come on So I have enlisted her help and when she, I sent her the picture, she said she just has to like, I said, are you okay? She asked me if I was okay seeing the grooves in that. I was like, no, I actually like it. If I'm being honest, I kind of want to do some kind of like wall feature over here. I don't know what she can, but she said, okay, we'll just paint everything white. We'll sand it, paint everything white so that I can go ahead um, and get the fixtures and stuff. And she just told me not to put anything in here and she'll come back and do something i don't know what i want over here but i kind of want a little little mini accent wall so that's the plan they the electrician does have to come back in because um once they install my little portable unit the electrician has to come back in and actually make that hot and then that way we can plug in the unit in i'm so excited so let me show you the full look now that it's finish before we start decorating all right so this is what we have like i said it, they just finished their portion it one it looks so much bigger than i felt it was before um and also you, if you can't notice i did notice just now that there is an echo now that i closed all the windows so if i do record out here i might have to leave like a window cracked but it looks so good so i have um, two Ikea they're really skinny a bookshelf coming here and then a bookshelf coming here and then I'm gonna get some seating I might put the seating over here or I might put the seating right here there's two chairs so I can move it if I want I have um, a rug coming here and then I have two um, small Ikea bookshelves they're no taller than where this stops and then I'm gonna put my um, plants either like on that there's just be like a bunch of decorations so <sighs> i'm excited paint um i've got the bookshelves here i'm probably going to go ahead and put them together this weekend um i really now that i've really had a long time to think about it i don't want a true couch i just want two chairs that way if i not if i when i do bring the desk down here because i kind of want to be down here to like edit and stuff i want that chair to be able to function as a comfy chair and then also as a working chair and i'm being honest i've gone back and forth and looked at black i really want black in here that's just the thing like i'm i'm on a black kick the chairs that are in the living room <laughs> That's what I want, but I feel that it's weird to have the same chairs in the living room as they are in here.
done and the Sagittarius type A in me was like no wait till it gets 100% done but I'm being honest you guys I love this space like I love this space so much I already have my coffee I already have my Bible from doing Bible study and so I promised you guys this is legit the reason why I'm posting this today because <laughs> I am also recording this on Sunday but legit the reason why I'm posting it today was because I promised that I would have give my YouTube family first dibs or first looks and uh starting next week i'm gonna be out here like instagram won't see this space i i love it i want to be out here it's just oh if you guys could just see the view with the leaves and the trees and they're changing colors and i don't see a single person in sight and it's just it makes me so happy being out here in this space we had a slight glitch with um I was, so I was supposed to get an in wall unit. The clearance that he estimated wasn't enough. So they gave me the portable one. And once I have the decorations in here, I don't like the hose. Uh, we painted, I put the decor in here. I was like, yeah, I don't like the hose. I don't like it. Uh, only because this unit is only an air conditioner unit. So I'm literally about to put that in the garage and I'm never gonna see it again. But yet this hose, I can't take that out of the wall because it's sealed in. And so I've reached out to um, my contacts and I was like, hey, and I just got finished. And he had even reached out, he had sent me a text saying, hey, so they were done. They have to have an electrician come back and make one of the um, outlets because they I had another outlet added out here to make that hot. But other than that, they were finished. I was like, hey, I don't like the hose. I actually can't stand it. It doesn't go fully flush into the wall. Um, can we just move this unit all together and then I'm going to get a Dyson. So Dyson has this like stand up um, unit and it's air and it's heat. And this is a small space so I don't think it needs a full on thing. And then the unit that they had, I was going to have to replace something. So I was like, hey, come get it. I don't want it. Fix the hole. And he's like, okay, they'll come out next week. So that's another part of the 10% that's not done. As far as the decor, that's the, the rest of the 10%. Um, so for instance, the chairs that I'm sitting in, these chairs belong in our master bedroom. Um, but for the purposes of this space, I wanted to immediately start using it. I'm thinking, and this is why I love family that doesn't like to throw stuff away. In our previous house, I had these burnt orange chairs in the living room because the previous house was very Bohemian inspired. Uh, when it came time to leave, I knew I didn't want to use them in this new space because the house that we have right now is kind of more like modern. And so my older sister got them and has them in her garage. Um, I'm gonna get them and think they're gonna work great with this space. So we're definitely gonna change out the chairs. Um, number two, I didn't have as many books as I thought I did. Well, I have probably about 40 or 50 scattered around the house and like decor and I don't really want to take those away from the decorations. But other than that, I thought I had more books than this. And I'm being honest, I might go online because I have probably about a hundred books between Kindle and Amazon, not Amazon, Apple books that I've just read. Of course, there's no physical version. So I'm going to go through and see the ones that I like series or like ones that I would definitely want to read again or ones that I have like my sisters come over all the time. I have friends that come over. It's like, oh, give me a good book. I would love to be able to like give them, not a gift, like check out, bring my book back. <laughs> but like check out a good book. So I might do a couple of those, but I, I don't have as many books, but that's fine because that lets me know that now um i'm gonna start ordering books instead of reading them online because i would just get the kindle because i'm like i don't have any space for them there's nowhere to put them now i can start back actually ordering paperback books um or like physical books i'm a paperback girl some people like hardbacks i love the paperback um but yeah so that's adding more books i also didn't realize until i got all of my plants in here that your nephew has killed so many of my plants I was going back when I we were in the previous house I had tallied like 35 plants I might have 15 right now 
Um, but yeah, so that's the other two decor elements is to change out the, sh uh, the chairs and to add some more plants and books. I'm thinking about bringing down um, the desk that I have upstairs in my uh, office area because I think that down here is where I want to do um, like working. So like admin days, so like Mondays and Fridays when I'm doing admin days, I really want to go upstairs because I'll go upstairs and I'll see like piece of clothing that I have to do or I'll get an email about a collab that's due and I'll be like alright let me just go ahead and do it now what I need to just dedicate it strictly to admin day so Mondays and Fridays will be strictly in here working or if I'm doing corporate America um, like if I'm having to work corporate America and I'm here I can work in here so I'm thinking about bringing the desk it's not that big of a desk there's no shelves it's just an easy simple plain desk just somewhere for me to be able to post up and work so that's another thing but like i said i wanted to go ahead and give you guys this video i've been talking library 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 for so many months and i'm pretty sure you guys are like she ain't even getting no library she's been talking about this library for four months <laughs> it's here and i'm excited and i hope you guys are just as excited so um yeah starting monday because i'm actually going to start vlogging next week this is where we're going to spend our mondays and our fridays and i'm i am excited but i will link absolutely everything that i can like i said i will link the company if you are in birmingham definitely reach out to them we are actually getting another quote to extend our porch because they just did such a good job and i'm one of those where if you do a good job i am all for repeat business i want to know the people that I work with. They are really nice. I feel like William made another friend. I mean, what's new? He's always making friends. Um, but yeah, so absolutely love it. Like I said, I'll link it, um, link the bookshelves, link everything that I possibly can. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this library tour. It will, you'll see it. You'll definitely see it again and again and again and again and again. And I'm excited. And then as I'm like talking throughout the vlogs you'll see this the updates that i make and all that kind of stuff but i just wanted to get it out um it's a little nerve-wracking that i'm posting something that's not 100 percent done but this is me getting out of my comfort zone and realizing that this is real life and everything doesn't have to be perfect to go on youtube alicia so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video while you're here guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and i'm going to catch you guys Thursday, 7 o'clock. Later.